Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here, and today I am doing a brand new lesson, and it's on the color wheel. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to mix all of your own colors using just red, yellow, blue, and white. So this is a color wheel that I made a while ago. I know color wheels are usually circles, but a color wheel is just the rainbow in a circle. It's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red, yellow, and blue, I call those three colors the magic colors. Their other name are is the primary color. So they're, that's what they're supposed to be like, red, yellow, and blue. All right, so here I have red, yellow, and blue on my palette, and I have a little bit of white because that helps us make colors lighter. But red, yellow, and blue, you can use those three colors to make every other color in the rainbow. So if you mix red and yellow together, look what's in between those two colors on the color wheel. This tells you the trick to mixing your colors. So if you mix red and yellow, they make orange. So if I wanna make green, all I have to do is look on both sides of green on the color wheel, it's blue and yellow. If I mix blue and yellow together, they make green. If I wanna make purple, I just have to mix red and blue together. So I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about mixing colors today. So all I've done on this canvas is I've just laid out a bunch of squares. I put Sharpie in between and I'm gonna try to make this many different colors. So every square I wanna try to make it a different color because there's so many colors you can make. So working in order, here's my colors. I've got red, yellow, blue, primary colors, and white. And the first color of the rainbow is red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a paintbrush and I'm gonna paint one of my squares red. And I don't even really have to go in order on this. I'm just gonna paint maybe this top one red, but I might jump around with the next one. So after you have one square painted red, I'm gonna go ahead and mix another color. So the next color I'm gonna make is a shade of orange. So I'm gonna take some red, and I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. Maybe a little bit more. So it's not very much yellow and it's gonna turn it just into like a red-orange color. So it's just a little bit orange. It's still a lot of red. So I'm gonna paint this red-orange color here. To me, it's almost like a really dark coral color. It's kind of like Mostly red, but you can tell it's starting to change to orange. So I've got red, and then I've got red with a little bit of yellow added to it, like that. So to make this orange, this red orange, even more orange, I'm gonna add even more yellow to it. So before it was red with a little bit of yellow, and now it's like about half and half maybe, half red, half yellow. And this is gonna make more of like a pumpkin orange. So maybe, maybe down here. Okay, so there's, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. So you can tell these colors are similar, but we're starting to change. So we've got a red, we've got a red orange, and we've got kind of an orange. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this orange and I'm gonna add even more yellow to it. And that is gonna turn it into a color I call yellow orange. This also kind of looks like gold. Sometimes I even call this color sunset yellow because it's just like this beautiful, I might even put a little bit more in there. Just a beautiful soft color for a sunset. So if you're painting an ocean, this is a great color to use. So it's this beautiful sunset orange color. Very nice. And then if you have like a paper towel or a water cup, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush now so that I can start with my next color. So the next color I'm going to do 
is going to be yellow. So I've got my yellow here in my palette. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna paint just plain old yellow. Like this. So now we've done red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, and now we have yellow. So now how are we gonna change our yellow? So if you look at our color wheel, let me get it again. So we're gonna look at our color wheel. We've got red, orange, yellow. The next color we're gonna be moving into is green. All right, so to make green, I'm gonna take a little bit but well, actually a lot. I'm gonna take a lot of yellow and I'll put a little bit of blue, not very much at all. And it's gonna turn it into like a lime green. Maybe even a little bit more blue. So it's a very, very, very light green. So yellow with just a little bit of blue. And we can use that. All right, so after we have that color, so we've got this like very light green, a yellow green. I wanna turn this even more green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to it. Even a little more than that. And it's gonna start turning it more into green. There we go. Okay, so here I've got green. I'm gonna put green over here. And then to turn our green into even more of a blue green, we're gonna add more blue to it. So now it's almost turning into like a turquoise color. Okay, so turquoise, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe put that down here. So it's like a really, really, really like dark green. Okay, and when we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off our brush again. And if you guys have a water cup, you guys can go ahead and rinse off your brush, but when you're working with acrylic paint on canvas, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you always dry off your brush after you clean it. So now we have our yellow green, and we've got our um, green, and we've got our blue-green. So the next color I'm gonna do is blue. So we've got blue right here, it's a primary color. We've got blue, so I'm gonna go ahead and put blue maybe right here. That is really bright. That is a beautiful color. Okay, so after we have blue, I'm gonna look at my color wheel again. And if you look at our color wheel, so we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We're to blue. Now we're gonna start moving into violet. So our purple color. So we've got our blue. And to turn that a little more violet, we're gonna take a lot of blue like this and we're gonna add a little bit of red to it. Not a whole lot, but just enough to change it into like a blue-violet. It's still mostly blue, but it's got a little hint of purple to it. So I think that looks like a pretty good blue-violet right there. So I'm gonna take my blue-violet and I am going to color another square. Okay, so I've got blue and I've got blue-violet. Now I need to turn this blue-violet into purple. So I'm gonna take more red and I'm gonna mix it into my blue-violet and look at that. It is turning purple. 
So I've got my purple color, and I might do purple. Hmm. Where do I want to put purple at? Maybe over here. Yeah, that's nice right there. Okay, so I've got my purple. And the next color I'm gonna do is a red violet. So we've got blue, we've got blue violet, we've got violet or purple, and then now we're gonna do a red violet. So that means we add even more red to our purple and it's gonna turn it into red violet. So I'm gonna put this red violet right up here. And now look at all these beautiful colors that we have made just using red, yellow, and blue. It's a lot of beautiful colors. All right, so after you guys have those colors done, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush again so that I will be ready to make even more beautiful colors. And I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make different colors. Um, so, an easy way to make a few more colors on here is just add white to every color. So red with white, so red with white is pink. So here I've got kind of like a bubblegum pink. It's kind of like a hot pink color right here. So you can put pink wherever you want. Maybe I'll put pink here. red and white and this is a pretty hot pink it's pretty dark so I will show you how to make that even lighter so you've got this really dark pink so you want to make like a softer pink you add more white to it and look at and it turns this beautiful light pink so then you can have light pink maybe I'll put light pink down here like this All right, so I've got my light pink on there. I'm gonna just blend that a little bit more. Okay, so once you have that done, you can go ahead and wipe off your brush again on your paper towel. And we'll get started with a, another color. So we already did white with red, so now we're gonna do white with orange. So here I've got some orange. I'm gonna add some white to my orange, and it's gonna become a peach color need a little bit more white there. So now we got this beautiful peach color. Where do I want to put peach? Maybe over here on the side. So it's just a very soft peachy color. It's almost kind of like skin color, I feel like. Just like a light peach. And another pretty color is if you guys mix light pink and peach together, it's like this really pretty, like pinky peachy color. Like this and you that's another color you can do maybe I'll put that one way over here the opposite corner. very pretty all right then I'm gonna wipe off my brush again because I'm gonna do another color all right so the next color I'm gonna do we've done like white with red and we've done white with orange so now I'm gonna do white with yellow and my friends that paint with me at the studio know that I call this color buttered popcorn because it reminds me of buttered popcorn. It's like if you go to the movie theater, white and yellow make this really, really, really light yellow like this, and it looks like butter. So I call this buttered popcorn. And I use this a lot of times in sunsets too. It's just a really nice soft color for a sunset. If you're doing a landscape. And then you can do white and green together. So white with our green will make like mint. It's kind of like a minty color, like this. So this really pretty light mint. So I'll put my light mint here. And look at how many of these squares we're filling in. So many, so many different colors. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off my brush again. A lot of clean in our brush with this project. So after we have minty green, I'm gonna go ahead and do light blue. So now we gotta take some blue, and we gotta take some white, and I'm gonna mix white and blue together, and they're gonna turn into this beautiful light blue color. Like 
this. So where should I put light blue? Maybe over here. So there's my light blue. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite colors. Here's gonna get this light blue in here. If you guys take one of Miss Kate's favorite colors, if you take a little bit of light blue and you mix it with some light green, a little more than that, it turns into this aqua color, which is so pretty. It's like my favorite, favorite color. So you just have to take light blue and light green and you mix them together and you get this beautiful aqua color. Maybe I'll put that up here. And look at how these are all different and just using red, yellow, blue, and white. We're only using three paint colors right now and look at how many colors we can get out of these. Okay, so we have our light blue and then we also did like an aqua turquoise color. Um, the next color I'm gonna do is light purple. So we've got our purple here, and I'm gonna add some white to it, and it's gonna turn into like a lilac color. In here. Very pretty. So we'll put some lilac right here. It's just a very light purple. Actually, it's not too, too light. We could actually add a little bit more white to this and make it even softer. Maybe I'll do that for one of my squares. There's my light purple. So you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take more white and add it to that light purple and it's gonna make an even lighter purple. Maybe I'll put that light, light, light purple over here. This is so much fun, just mixing colors. Okay, so there, we've gotten through quite a bit here of our squares. Um, and if you guys are painting this at home and you have any canvas laying around, you don't have to have as many squares as I do. You can have um, even just, like, as long as you have at least the six for the primary color or for the colors of the rainbow, that's great. Um, I'm gonna show you guys now some more complicated stuff with color mixing, because I know some of my art friends at home are maybe a little older, and they already know that red and blue make purple, and they already know that red and yellow make orange, and they already know that white makes uh, colors lighter, so I'm gonna teach you guys a couple more tricks. So, a lot of my friends, when they're painting with me, and they get to a point of our painting where they say, oh, I need to make brown, it's, brown is a little tricky to make, so I'm gonna show you guys a trick to making the color brown. So let me bring my color wheel out again really quick. All right, so here's my color wheel, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, you can make brown with a lot of different combinations. The key is to making brown is that you have to use all three primary colors. So. The best way that I have found to make brown is I like to start with orange. So once I use red and yellow to make orange, to make orange more neutral, to make it closer to brown, you have to add what is opposite of orange. So that is blue. So I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make brown. Okay, so I've got my brush and I'm gonna do yellow, you can see I use my whole plate. Yellow, and I'm gonna put some red in it to make it orange. Okay, I might need a little more red. It's not very orange right now. Okay, it's starting to turn orange. Okay, so after I have orange, I need to add what's opposite of orange on the color wheel. So on the color wheel, we looked at it, the opposite of orange is blue. So if I add a little bit of blue, just a teeny tap, it's gonna start turning our orange into brown. So right now it's just kind of like a muddy color. It's a little muddy. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit more. Oop, that's probably gonna be too much. It's gonna turn it green. So at, if your brown starts turning green, you need to add the opposite of green from the color wheel. And if you look, well actually that's not too far. That's just kind of like a light tan color, but it's still brown. So I can use this, it's kind of like a caramel color. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Just like that. So kind of like a golden brown. But some of you guys, I'm gonna show you what happens. So sometimes say you take too much blue. Okay, so you start adding it and you go, oh no, I'm not making brown anymore, I'm making green, this looks green. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. 
So you're looking at, here, I'm gonna put even more in there. Okay, so it really is starting to look green. So if your brown is looking too green, all you have to do to get it back to brown is I'm gonna show you the color wheel again. All right, so our brown is looking too green. Here's green on the color wheel. To get it back to brown, all we have to do is add the opposite of green, which is red. It's right across from green on the color wheel. So I've got my brown that's looking too green here, so I gotta add a little bit of red. And look, it starts turning back into brown, just like that. So now I have a pretty nice brown color that I can use on here. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on mixing colors and experimenting and having fun. I taught you guys the basics of how to mix your colors and now you guys can go and invent your own colors. Maybe you wanna take some red violet and mix it with white. Maybe you wanna take some white and um, pink and yellow together. Maybe you wanna mix like yellow and green and white together. Maybe like spring green with some white in it. So this is a fun project where you guys just keep going on your own and just keep making new colors and try to fill in all these squares with a completely different color. Thank you for joining me today for this fun extra color mixing project. If you guys are painting at home, this definitely will help you guys um, mixing your own colors from red, yellow, blue, and white. I hope to see you again next time.